Oh Lord. <laughs> and here we are back in 1937 with these handheld microphones. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Four Friends, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. It's your resident cuckoo <laughs> and your favorite not douchebag. Wow. <laughs> Y'all wild. <wilding. laughs> and today we're going to talk about how important should sex be in a relationship. Mm, mm. I'm explaining. <laughs> It's an interesting question. Juicy. I feel like it depends on what you what you determine a relationship is. Oh gosh, that's true. In this day and age we're living in, it's a set of situation ship, metal ship, tank metal ship, ship, tank ship, oh, Lord. ship, all kind of ship. They have a lot <laughs> of ships. Relationships <laughs> <laughs> on your on your scale, your personal scale, one being not important at all, mm. ten being super important. How important is sex in a relationship mm, to you? I would say like seven. Seven or eight. Seven to eight. Yeah, Probably eight. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Not just the quantity, but the quality as well. Yeah. Like, you know I, I mean? think the quantity... Mm, I think those are two different things. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I'm, I mean, how much... Like, you know, some people, they have an issue. They don't have enough sex or they have too much sex. Um, is but, that a thing? Yeah, totally. How, how is that a thing? Back in the back when I was a young oh, little Lord. rabbit, <laughs> I had a boyfriend and we got in a fight and he's like, I feel like all you want me for is sex. I'm like, what else are boyfriends for? Damn, that's JK. cool. They're for that's, other things that's, too. That's, wow. But um, I've heard that and I'm not the only girl I know. Like my guy friends I talk to, sometimes they'll say like they have a girlfriend on her. She just wants sex all the time. Mm. But I feel like sometimes for women, it might be a psychological thing mm. to kind of feel close and to make sure that they still feel like their partner is interested and these right. kinds of stuff. Um, mm. So there's that. And then there's sometimes when people are so busy, they maybe like have sex once a month or something. But then if the sex is like amazing once a month, is that bad? I mean, how busy are you to only have sex once a month? Well, I don't know. Somebody might be working shit. on a What shit. are you doing? They might be a fisherman out in sea for two weeks at a time. Mm, you know? Who knows? Yeah, but well, you know, that, that fisherman probably gained something in the sea. I don't know if he that shit. Some mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Some Ariel sooner or later. Oh, boat. Lord. <laughs> JK. No, but for real. So, um, what's more important, quantity or quality? I feel like they both go hand in hand. So I don't think one is more important than, than the, the other. other. Yeah, I think they. I think they both go hand in hand. But, but if you had to pick, I don't have to pick. Though. If you had to, <sighs> quality. Same. Yeah. Same. Same. I would. Yeah. I would like do once a month if it was great. I would choose once a month over once a week and as yeah, lazy. I feel. I Nobody feel like if. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> if you do that, right, like. The anticipation would be crazy. You'll probably exactly. be driving. Yeah, but you'll be driving yourself crazy for a month, though. But that's kind of hot. Is it, though? Yeah. You won't be able to function. I feel like you, you at function. some point, you function. would not be able to function. Your mind no, would be driving you crazy. I've been in long distance relationships before. Mm. And that is, like, exciting. Mm. It's like, build it up. Build yeah, it yeah. Up. And I also dated a fisherman for a little while, too. So a like, fisherman. So yeah. he, had, he had multiple areas. LOL. <laughs> Actually, he had multiple women. They weren't all named Aria. Mm. <laughs> but um, I liked when he would be out in the sea and we couldn't talk for like five five days, seven days. I'm like, ooh, this is exciting. I can't wait for him to come back. Okay. I have so many things to tell him. Interesting. Yeah. No, mm. you don't agree? Well, that's interesting, right? So, some, you know, they have a saying, familiar, familiarity builds contempt. Really? Like if, like, if you, like if you see or like know someone too much. Mm-hmm. And absence, absence makes the heart grow fonder. That one I've heard. Well, yeah, there you go. So. I believe it. I do believe it. But but so then, well, what is life then? Because it feels like if you if you always have to let something go to really appreciate it. So at what point? At what point do you actually just get to enjoy the moment instead of playing In the these moment. games? Right. Playing games. Right. But what I'm saying is like, if you if you if you limiting the moment, then. 
Oh, it's like it's like you, you yeah you're like yeah. you you're limiting the moment so like yeah. your life is just revolved around limiting this moment yeah but and sometimes trying to people get... it's not it's out of their control like That's work true. and other stuff right but um yeah i think it's pretty important another thing too that i think of when you, i think you said it before was that sex can't be the only thing it can't right like if you if 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 the only thing i could think about when i think about you is sex it's kind of yeah. After a while, it's like, yo, what's your, what's the point? It what's your purpose sense. in my life? Exactly. If yeah. everything else is stress, and only the sex is good, not worth it. Yes, yeah, facts. Definitely not worth it. So then, does that just defeat our whole point of it being like a seven or eight in a relationship? No, it is the the, the other the other two points is is the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right? what I'm saying. Exactly. The other two points is the other stuff. Yeah. Um, I which agree. I guess. They they are as important. Well, they're not as important, but they, I think they they work to balance everything else. Exactly. Yeah. True. And what would be the next important thing? The next important thing. Yeah. Mm. That's an interesting question. I don't know. Mm. I'd say communication. Com- uh, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Able to understand each other. And communication don't always mean words. It could be body language, actions. True, true. I agree. I'll I'll take that. Post it notes. Post post it. <laughs> Whatever you're into. Yeah, no, right. I'll take that. That's true. yeah. I feel I feel that. Um, but at what point? At what point is communication too much? What communication is never too much. Is it? Communication. Can you over communicate? I don't think so. I, I as a chronic over communicate. <laughs> I think the more words, the better. Really? Yeah, to clarify. Even if, and not to think people have to accept, sometimes you change your mind or mm. sometimes your perspective changes. Mm. And um, Are you allowed to change your mind though? Of course. I feel like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes some people don't believe that you're allowed to save you? your mind. I mean, it's your mind. Exactly. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying sometimes you're not allowed. Sometimes, not you're not, but like sometimes you're like, it's frowned upon if you change your mind. Oh. Yeah. Well. Who vex lose? That's my favorite. <laughs> Who vex lose? I could change my mind. I I could literally, and I'm sure y'all have seen it on other episodes that we've done before. Said one thing, I'd be like, actually, I don't think so. I changed my mind. Yeah, we've we, we, we yeah we know we, yeah we, we, that that's actually just called crazy, but let's 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 not. That's what keeps it exciting, guys. Is it? This is where Travis zooms in on my face. Okay. <laughs> So this podcast is about to take a different turn. Like I don't know what's oh going on. The results from our very scientific data experiment scientific. gathering, you know, activity <laughs> yep. has given us information um, that is accurate to the nearest point zero 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> However, it said that sex is seven out of ten important in mm. a relationship. And Kareem agrees. I agree. And I also agree. Yeah. On all different levels. Quality, quantity, mm-hmm. and um, what was the other thing we said? I don't know. Quality, quantity, I think that was it too. Just it quality and quantity. Only thing. It can't be the only thing, right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But it definitely had to be up there. Yeah, and the other three points. The other three points is communication. Too. But isn't that so sad if you're with somebody and then the only thing that's not um, there is sex? Do you think that Wait, somebody, say that again? Like, if you're with somebody and mm-hmm. everything else is great, like, mm-hmm. conversation is great, y'all are comfortable around each other, you mm-hmm. um, share similar interests, mm-hmm. you know, great conversation, intelligent, whatever, mm-hmm. but the sex is just boo-boo. I feel like you could work on that, though. You think so? If it's, if it's worth it. But, but what, really? If it, I'm just saying, if it's, if the, if the relationship is worth it to you. That's true, huh? You could, you could, you could, you could hold, you could hold, you could hold a person and be like, yo, well, um, everything else is great, but you do, you don't do this properly, this, 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 and you, that's a convic, that's communication, my friend. Oh, oh, oh. oh. look, the, the student has become the <laughs> That's communication. I'm just like, but I feel, maybe it's just me, I would be nervous that I just would be unsatisfied and maybe look for stuff elsewhere but not if you communicate though but something that just that just that just sounds like you're just looking for a reason right that 
that's also an issue that that's, I'm working yeah, on. That's, that's, I, that's, I tend to look for reasons. Exactly. That's the, that's what that is. That's like so <laughs> for example, right? I looked I was there was a episode on divorce court that was like yeah. viral where they had this guy and he treated his his wife like a queen. He gave her everything she wanted. Mm-hmm. And she with her complaint oh God. get this. Her, her complaint for divorce was that he cooks too well. He tells her that he loves her too often and he's never hitting her and he and she believes that that for some reason every time she tells her every time he tells her that she he loves her she's like waiting for him to slap her after and that was her complaint he was too nice her complaint for her husband (laughs) was that he was too nice and i'm like bruh that makes like no sense i need more background information the real question is okay. did he have a job he he had a job he took care of the home oh, gosh. next nah, question nah, 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 nah. next question that was my only that was question. A- <laughs> because i think the most and i don't know if it's is that the like only thing that matters cake. no but but i like when a a partner has ambition right so mm-hmm. they don't have to be making a million dollars but like they have to have something that they're interested in and something that makes them wake up in the morning right, to right. Do something that mm-hmm. would be the only thing i think would that really would turn so so what if, what if your partner has ambition but he, he doesn't do anything with it it's very easy you to have it's, ver- it's very easy to have ambition and, and not do anything yeah trust me been there the, the, i'm single <laughs> <That's the case. laughs> yeah i mm. can't Stand people who just talk about stuff and don't do nothing. Right. And I'm not saying I do everything that I say I'm gonna do always all the time. Right. But at least I try and I work in a certain direction. You right, right, I mean? right. Once if somebody's like have all these big grand plans and all you do is sit down in your house and think about it. Right. Who's that helping? Facts. You know? And that's not helping me. I want somebody to inspire me. Not mm. I need them to be inspired and motivated, but I want a partner that can look at them and be like Wow, I love their work ethic or their determination or the way they handle this situation. I want to be inspired. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, f- I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, uh, apparently, I've heard from our camera guy. LOL. Always. That. That that he he recently had a problem. He was dealing with a problem. He was dealing with a problem. Do yeah. tell. And I'm ready. Tell me. He, he 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 said that he 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 had a he had an addiction. He did. Yeah. To bumin. He had an addiction. <laughs> he had and and he I started to laugh right because was at, a chronic master. At first, at first, I thought, <laughs> I thought he was talking about like drugs. I thought it was like some hard drugs. Then I was like, damn. At first, I was sympathetic. I was like, yo. Then he was like, nah, bro, I'm addicted to sex. Wow. I was like, shit. That would That's, ruin somebody's life. That yo. It, it could, right? <laughs> yeah, I actually want to change What? I can't even keep a straight face. Look at that, this freaking clown's facial expressions over there. <laughs> no. So, from the diary of a sex addict. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've, we were talking off camera to our camera guy, and apparently he had an issue um, that, you know, we kind of want to address. So, so, Mr. Travis, please. Um, it's supposed to be anonymous. It's a safe. It's a, <laughs> this is a safe space. It's a safe space. It's only on the internet. It's only on the internet. The the real question I want to know is if you're addicted to sex, is it like something that's beyond your control? Like you think about it all the time, you can't control yourself. Is that what it is? That's interesting. Or is it that you just have sex with inappropriate people? So is everybody addicted or to inappropriate sex? Inappropriate times. Is everybody addicted no, to sex? No, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Or actually, maybe a little bit because is that not the end objective? The end objective. The end objective. Like if you start talking to somebody new, mm-hmm. you're not just trying to freaking. I think that's a that's a beginning objective. No. That in most cases. The beginning objective first is to see if they bathe. That's. that's if they <laughs> smell stinky. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's very important. Okay, that's yeah. That's yeah. that's. Then you yeah. have to think, okay, do they have a nice mind? Mm-hmm. Can they make me laugh? Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. they can't make me laugh, chances are they're probably not going to be able to make me come. So mm. those are directly related. Damn. <laughs> and is that yes. simple? Damn. So the sort but, of, um, so, I so can laughter, control myself. Laughter is the route to orgasm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. Somebody sold that on a pillow. Somebody. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, we need to, I feel like I feel like we need to just coin that phrase and make t-shirts right. for friend t-shirts. Laughter is the is the key to the orgasm. Female orgasm. There you go. Men, let us know if that's also the key to the male orgasm. Nah, you we know? we just we just we just need to see some shit. We're super yeah, we're we're super creatures. I don't. I, that's Seriously. that's as much as I can say. A we're super creatures. Picture, a picture, hey, image. It's over, it and it's that NFT. Oh like, my so, goodness, <laughs> and, it's, and it's gone. It could be black and white. It could be. Black and white. It could oh, be wow. <laughs> That's all it takes. Shit. I just need you could, you, you, you could read a book. Auditory, tactile. All I don't need is taste. I need them all. I need all the You need stimulants. everything. Yeah, to get where I'm going. Damn, you have, you have maintenance. I know. Damn. But it's okay because, you know, nice things don't come easy. Mm. Mm. That's what mm. they say. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Why did y'all show me rolling Yo, hurry? Y'all need to stop. Why did y'all show me rolling hurry? I, I don't can't know. stop. That yeah, I that that, stop. Sh- that shit was wild. Like, we all need to stop. Could you have helped yourself? That's the real question. That's what we want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, bro. and how did you get rid of? How did you get over it? Just 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 talk. I, don't 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 move the camera. <laughs> right. <laughs> he gave his life to the Lord, maybe. Don't go there. Yes. <laughs> we'll don't go there. We won't go so close to home. We'll take it from real life to TV, which is also real life. Okay. <laughs> but um, I was looking at this show, and this guy was addicted to sex. Which one? Which, which show it's is that? It's called um, The Breaking Point or something like that. Or uh, I've never, the seen, Edge never or seen it. Something like that. Something on Netflix with like older ladies. Okay. Was it the breaking point? Something. Anyway, point mm. of the story is one of their friends who was in the little friend circle, he was a sex addict. Mm. So even though he loved his wife and or his girlfriend or whatever the story was, he would just have sex with people. Mm. He would have sex with people that work in his restaurant. He had sex. He let his friend give him a blowjob because she was sad. Wait, just, what? Yeah, just so he. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You yeah. can't just go. You can't. You can't, you can't just <laughs> scoot over that. Right? Like, hold on. He got a blowjob because she was sad. Yes. yes. So he got a happy ending for her yes. sadness. Because she was lonely and um, I don't know what was going on with her, but then he Bruh. wrote her a check and it was. It also, was, he paid her. No, well, he didn't pay her for the blowjob. That was all discussed in the oh, episode. So, so, that, so that's, that's, that's the side. That's the kind of sideways. <laughs> he gave her the money as a friend, but he also happened to get a blowjob. Oh, that's what they call it these days. Right? I don't know. There's, hey. a, there's, a, there's a legal term that's for that That's another kind of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> that friendship is legally called prostitution. Who said that? Uh, Who said that? I don't know. <laughs> but point of the story is, I think that sex addiction is a thing. I, think I mean, it is. It's laughable, but it's, it is. It's laughable. It's just funny. It's it's just like it is. Yeah, it is. Right? Like, I've seen some weird shit. There's a, I saw a guy on TV. He was addicted. He was in love with his car. Oh, boy. And he used to have sex with his car. Like, that's... In the muffler? Like, every, every crevice. Any crevice wow. of the car used to, like, oil it and have sex with it. Oh, God. I used to be, like, kissing the car and I'm all sort of ready. shit. Yeah, it was wild. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was extra. Well, I, don't know, him, I don't know what he's doing it, over for there. For him, it seems like it was 10 out of 10. It, <laughs> 10 out of 10. It was important. Oh my gosh, did that just show us a new perspective? Sometimes the relationship, it, the rating depends only on one person. Because mm. perception is what is people's reality. Perception is what people's reality. Yeah, perception is reality. You Shit, put that, that, put that on a put shirt. Put that on a shirt. I but see I'm, you. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere. Yeah, but that's okay. That's we'll, a bit we'll, cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay. It. But yeah, so this man. So what? What would make it be ten out of ten for somebody though? Well, referring back to Sex Addicts Anonymous, apparently, what makes it ten out of ten? What happened? <laughs> that one over there. Lily, stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Hashtag expose. It's the vibe. It's the vibe. It's exactly. <laughs> apparently, it's all up to the vibe. That's what makes it ten out of ten. Yeah. Mm. And honestly, thinking back on it now, all the good sex I've had in my life, it's like something that had some kind of connection to it, mm-hmm. like feeling comfortable and yeah. Uh, feeling comfortable is a connection these days. No, like well, obviously to feel comfortable, <laughs> you have to like speak and get, I mean, like I, right. comfortable. You have to get comfortable okay. with each other. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Some okay. of the best sex I've had in life was tied directly to 
being comfortable. Some kind of connection. Yeah, comfortable connection, emotional mm. connection. Right, right? Like, I see yeah. the emotional, emotional connection. connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. I, yeah. Feel like, I feel like some of the best times I've had was more emotional connection mm-hmm. as have opposed to cried? raw. I have not. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have not. I have cried. <laughs> You've cried? Yeah. <laughs> no, just like just the em- overwhelm of emotion, just like mm. happiness, pleasure, everything. Mm. Yeah, simultaneous. That, yeah, I have good pumps. It's probably sweat. <laughs> sweat was probably ready to get high. Somebody's cutting my hand. Yeah, but that's when it's great. So what can you say? If she crying, then you know it was fucking great. Mm. Yeah. If you have to ask, did you come? <laughs> it's, oh, it's over. <laughs> you know the answer, bro. Right, 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 right. right. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> so how how do you, how do people combat sex addiction like addictions? If that's a thing, if that's actually a thing. Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. Therapy and lots of um cocoa butter. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but then you just trade it in one addiction for yeah, another no, one. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's just real therapy. It's probably just like any other addiction, right, like right. cigarettes or crack. Mm. You know. But I mean, I I think based on the feedback that we've had from this question, I just think and just exploring it. I feel like healthy healthy relationships place they place sex on a pedestal, but it's not the highest pedestal of the yeah. relationship. If that makes sense. Yeah, and and I think it's not even really about the sex, but like satisfying your partner, like making yeah. them a priority, making sure right. that they're happy and satisfied. Right. Yeah. Or, and yourself, obviously. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I agree. That makes sense. This is a cool day because I have actually agree with Ariel. Right? What is I know, happening? Right? I don't know what's going is it on. Is snowing outside? Probably. <laughs> but we should quit while we're ahead. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Before we find something to disagree about. I mean, hey, I'm always down to disagree. You know me. I'm just, I'm always here to disagree. Your favorite douchebag. Oh, my God. I'm not a douchebag. I said bro. it first. Uh, stop calling in me the favorite <laughs> douchebag. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Prove me different. I, I am just a realist and, and I just have very straightforward points of view. It's not that that'll make you a dish bad, that just makes you honest. We'll we'll take we'll take that for now. So let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what kind of guys you would you rather a guy that is like always like, you know, nice nope. and <laughs> And here we go, we end the we end the podcast right there. <laughs> we can, Exactly. So I'm just saying like I also don't want someone who doesn't believe in feminism. So I I believe in I believe I believe in what the actual definition of feminism. Exactly, which is what it is. Based according to Dave Chappelle, according to the if it's the dictionary definition, I'm a feminist. Uh huh. But the other bullshit, y'all y'all can hide that. Lol. This is what I'm just saying. It is what it is. So I'm a feminist, guys. I told y'all would find something to disagree on. You see that? How long did it take us? Ten seconds. (laughs) No, but we we talking about okay. So even on the topic of how important sex is in a relationship, right? There's a YouTuber uh-huh. that says that Bumble is oppressive. Explain that to me. Mm, is that that's the app where the girls get to go first? Yeah. Um, oppressive to who? To women. Why? No, because we. Get she's the she's same she's part. a feminist. I've never used Bumble, so. She's a feminist, so she says. So what's that the Bumble is oppressive. Who is it oppressing? If isn't it's it oppressing the women. Gets to say if because y'all have to say hi. Yeah, but you guys have to talk first. Yeah, no, that's great. It is right. Yeah, I but don't she's think that's she says that it's oppressive. First of all, is she an American? Of course. Second of all, then that's irrelevant. <laughs> no offense, America, but like people are entitled to opinions. If that's who she believed, great. She have a PhD. All she right, have a doctor. So um. Then I don't let's, know what she has to let's, say. Let's let's not um, disrespect a whole country. Uh, no, let's disrespect <laughs> let's just, no, but I'm just saying, just like <laughs> I was just about to say something so stereotypical. But I do find there's a tendency of a certain country's citizens to be very strong in their beliefs mm-hmm. as if it's right and nothing else matters and nobody else's opinion matters. Like where you come out with that's oppressive. What research and studies have you done on oppression and women and you know relationships and all these kinds of things to be coming out with such a grand statement? Who is that oppressing? The first time we have a chance to choose. 
we don't have nobody harassing us or or you know just today i was thinking that i can't even walk in my yard i can't even feed my dog in the morning i can't even stand up with my dog for her to take a shit without some man walking up or down the street morning baby you're looking so beautiful wow <laughs> i love that smile have a great day uh, you know i saw you in the garden wow that's a beautiful baby I lo- like shut the fuck up bro yo the man the man is sharing chair no. bro who hurt you yeah no it's funny <laughs> but it's 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 disrespectful it's an invasion of my space and my privacy i can't okay. even be in my yard i can't cross the street damn you know, so this so this is why feminism gets radical sometimes. That that but that is the extreme. But at the same extreme. time, I love the the bumble the women the right to choose. I like that. That's definitely not oppressive. Let's let's read it. Read it. Let's read it. No, no. When I get when I get when I get passionate about something, I'm ready to just. Um, uh, let's 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 yeah let's let's that 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 kind of went left. Um. No, <laughs> you see, this is why I say Karima's a resident douchebag. What I do? Oh. How was that off topic? I, I didn't say that was off topic. I said that went left. Oh, that went left. Yeah, that it, 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 it kind of went left. It so I'm, left. I'm just it saying. It went right to the middle, to the point of the situation. The story Bumble is not oppressive. It's not. Um. Yeah, and second of the story, even though I have a podcast and I don't have a doctorate or a PhD. We're not telling y'all what to do. We Facts. also not telling y'all that any of this is factual information. Facts. So if you're taking this as fact, that's on you, boo boo. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't quote me. Don't quote me. And and with that, and see y'all. See, <laughs> see y'all next time. <laughs> she tripping. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It is what it is. <laughs>